Hello, my friend, and welcome. What you are about to hear are some of the most important words you will ever hear in your life. They explain the relationship between God and man. It is not necessary to have the picture booklet, but if you do have it, it will help you to remember the information on this tape. The tape can be stopped at any time to think about the things you are hearing. We suggest that you listen all the way through the first time. Then go back and listen again, stopping the tape from time to time, to think more deeply about the things you are hearing. When you hear this sound, it is time to look at the next page. Start now at the first page. In the beginning, only God existed. There was nothing else. God made the world and commanded the light to shine. He made the sun to rule the day and the moon to rule the night. God is good, and He rules over everything. The information you are hearing comes from God's book. This book is the Word of God and tells us about God and His ways. It contains the writings of many well-known prophets. God loves all people. This book explains why God had to separate Himself from the people He loves so much. It also explains how God made a plan to bring the people back to Him, to be His friends and His children. This book is called the Bible. God made everything by the words that He spoke. He said, Let it be, and it was as He said. He spoke and made the sky. He spoke and made the sea. He spoke and land was made. Then he created all living things in the same way, the fish in the water, the birds in the air, and all the animals. In this way God spoke everything into being. God was pleased with all that he made. Everything that God made was good. It was all very good. God made the first man from the dust of the earth, and the first woman from the rib of the man. He called them Adam and Eve. God loved Adam and Eve. He gave them authority over everything He had made. They were God's friends. God made a beautiful garden for them to live in. God spoke with them there. He gave them permission to eat any of the fruit in the garden, except for the fruit from one tree. But they chose to disobey God, and they ate the forbidden fruit. They sinned against God. They broke their friendship with Him, and He had to punish them. God hates sin. He sent them out of the beautiful garden. Since that time, people have had to work hard to get the food they need to eat. Sin also brought pain, suffering, and death. Adam and Eve had two sons. Their names were Cain and Abel. Cain was jealous of Abel and one day killed him. God punished Cain for doing this wicked thing. God is very grieved when people sin. Sin is what has separated us from God. God and man could no longer have the close friendship that God wanted. Adam and Eve had other children, and many generations went by. Now there were many people, all descendants of Adam and Eve. Each of them disobeyed God. They were becoming more and more wicked. 
Their sin became so great that God decided to destroy them all in a great flood. There was only one man who loved and obeyed God. His name was Noah. God told Noah to build a large ship called an ark. God was going to save Noah and his family in this ship. It took Noah many years to build the ark. All during that time, Noah warned the people about their bad ways and the punishment God was going to send. The people would not believe Noah's warnings. They did not want to turn from their evil ways. God brought animals of every kind to Noah, and Noah took them into the ship. Then Noah and his wife and their three sons, each one with his wife, also entered the ship. There were only eight people in the ark with the animals. Then God closed the door. After seven days, God sent very heavy rain and brought water from under the ground. In forty days, God flooded the whole earth. It was too late for everyone outside the ark. They all drowned. But Noah and his family were safe in the ark because they had believed and obeyed God. Many years went by, and the descendants of Noah became many tribes. Abraham was one of these descendants. He was a man who also loved and obeyed God. God promised Abraham that his descendants would become a great people. Abraham and his wife Sarah did not have any children at that time, but they still believed God's promise. When they were old, they had a son whom they called Isaac. God promised to do something very special through Isaac and his descendants. Abraham had children by other women. One of those children was named Ishmael. He became the father of the Arab nations. The descendants of Isaac also became a great people called Israel. One of the descendants of Isaac was Moses. He also believed and obeyed God. God called Moses to a mountain where he spoke with him. God gave him laws to teach to the people. Moses came down from the mountain with the laws of God written on stone. God's laws are for all people. His laws are good. The laws that God gave to Moses are for the good of all people. These laws tell us that we are to love, worship, and obey the one true God. We are not to make idols or bow down to them. We should not use God's name in a disrespectful way. All people should set aside one day each week to rest and worship God. Children should obey and honor their parents. We must not murder. We must not commit adultery. We must not steal. We must not make false statements about other people. And we must not desire the things that belong to others. Music